Marco spills his potato salad all over her, which I actually think he did on purpose, because Sister Merkin has, you know, those big tatas underneath all that black and white. Ma, come on. Oh, get over it. She's a hottie. I've seen you check her out once or twice. Janice, right? Are you with me? Sister Merkin is a 10. Am I right? Uh, she's quite attractive. Yes. See? Janice agrees. <sighs> Oh, look at the time. I gotta get to bed. I'm seeing Dr. Passante in the morning for that thing on my neck. Dom, hon, why don't you help Janice carry out the leftovers? It's just some macaroni. Dominique, don't embarrass me. Go on and help. Oh, I, my apologies. I forget how frightened people can be of them the first time. I'm a taxidermist. I wasn't frightened, just a little unexpected is all. Taxidermy, huh? Guess you were into stuffed animals as a kid? Not particularly, no. Well, um, it's nice meeting you, Janice. And I, I, I'm sorry about all this. Oh, what? I think my mom was trying to, you know, set us up. <laughs> oh, my, I know. Oh, <laughs> my. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is, this is <laughs> terribly awkward. Uh, I, I, I think she might have gotten the wrong idea. It's all good. I'm on a self-imposed timeout anyway. Okay. My ma, she's just trying to cheer me up. She thought this would help. Yeah, she said you'd been through kind of a rough patch. That she did. It's not a big deal. It's just promotion at work. It's been a lot of stress is all. Yeah, she said you haven't been sleeping, and she told me about the drinking. Yeah. Oh, I hope I'm not... Speaking out of school, I, I, I just meant to say I've been there with work, you know. Long hours can really burn you out, especially in my field. But I'm here to talk, if you want. Sometimes that can help. Yeah, anyway, I should get to bed. Good night, Janice. Yeah, that's a good idea. You need your rest. After all, you have that interview about the Santiago case in the morning. Excuse me? You put it off for weeks. It's starting to look suspicious. What did you say? I was just explaining that unless you go to work tomorrow and finish cleaning up Santiago's mess, then I'm going to be forced to do something very bad to your mother. Like, really bad, you know? Like, I'm probably gonna have to slitter from mouth to cunt. If you touch my mom, I will strangle you to death. You understand me? Uh, you can strangle me till the cows come home. That's not gonna stop the rest of them. We talked about. We got a big day tomorrow. Oh, and would you thank your mom for me for the macaroni? <laughs> <laughs>